Let's take a look across the tropics here where we have an active Atlantic out here. Actually, Gert and Katia no longer being warned on from the National Hurricane Center. We have another uh, area back here towards the east. That's actually the remnants of Franklin, but all eyes are on this one in the red. We have this little pressure uh, wave that came off the coast of Africa late last week. Now it's continuing to track towards the west in guidance really continuing to pull on this storm system become uh, not only a tropical storm, but potentially a very strong hurricane here towards the north and east of Puerto Rico. In fact, take a look at the uh, guidance from the Euro and the GFS, both agreeing on this storm system pulling towards the west and eventually possibly kicking off towards the north. Now, Good news for uh, the coast of Florida. All the guidance continues to pull towards the east, but uh, keep in mind this is still very long range. This is still developing at this time, and uh, there's still a lot of potential for some change here. The National Hurricane Center hasn't even put a track out on this just yet. So at this point, you want to continue to check back in for newer updates. What I can tell you is climatology does typically indicate when you have a storm system well back here towards the east, they do tend to shift towards the north, but it very well could edge towards the coast of the Carolinas as well, maybe back towards New England. Uh, really, the entire east coast at this point just needs to be watching the tropics out here as we go ahead over the upcoming week and a half, actually next two weeks, I should say through mid September. And really, I mean, September 10th is the peak of hurricane season. So at this point, it shouldn't be much of a surprise that we do have a tropical system out there. For First Coast News, I'm meteorologist Robert Spetta.